the legislature continues to be deaf and blind as to taxes. And so we have vetoed uh, the income tax increase that they've passed for the fifth time in six years. And we have vetoed the corporate business tax surcharge, which they've passed for the third time in six years. Now is not the time to drive jobs out of New Jersey. Now is the time to create jobs in New Jersey. And what we know is that the reason Mercedes-Benz left New Jersey, clearly stated by the president of Mercedes-Benz USA, who is a Bergen County High School graduate, who is now leaving to go to Georgia, is because taxes are too high in New Jersey. And yet, the legislature continues to think that somehow uh, we're immune to the competitive forces that are going on around uh, the country. We're not. And I'm not going to make matters worse. I'll continue to make matters at least status quo. But there's one other thing. Um, I've been saying all along for six years that I wanted to cut taxes for the people of New Jersey. The legislature has been unwilling at turn after turn to cut taxes for New Jersey. So my veto of the millionaire's tax is a conditional veto. And the conditional veto um, is sending back to the legislature for their concurrence, I hope, an increase in the earned income tax credit from 20% to 30%, a 50% tax cut for the working families of New Jersey. Uh, this is something that those families need now more than ever. They need more money in their own pocket and less in the pockets of politicians for them to spend on their special interest friends here in Trenton. And so this will put us in line with New York's state earned income tax credit at 30 percent and will allow the working families of our state to know that when I said I want to cut taxes for everyone, I want to cut taxes for everyone. The legislature is preventing me from cutting taxes for everyone, but we're now going to cut taxes for the working poor in this state and increase the earned income tax credit from 20 percent to 30 percent, um, something I'm both proud and happy to do, and I hope that the legislature will concur quickly in that so that working families in New Jersey will know that they're going to have more money in their pocket to spend on their families and less money here in Trenton for politicians to spend.